Hey guys, so forgive me, it's been a while since I've really posted and give you guys, given you guys an update. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to do that here in, a, in one take like usual. Um, a lot of stuff to go over, been working on a lot of different things, a lot of different projects, and uh, it's really coming together, but I'm also kind of scared because I'm so far away. It just, I work on this thing every day, for at least an hour, sometimes a few, and I still feel like I'm so far away. All right, so I'm gonna flip, flip the camera around and I will show you some of the stuff that I've been working on, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> All right. All right, it has definitely been a while since I've posted an update, because I don't think I've shown you any of this. Uh, I know, it probably kind of looks like a mess right now, but as the uh, 100 amp hour battery on the right, uh, 300 or 3000 watt uh, DC to AC converter, uh, the volt DC to DC converter, and the uh, box here that is the Chatamo plug, this is the AC in plug, and that is a DC plug that can be used as DC out, or I can uh, charge the battery with it. Let's see if it's, where was it? Uh, I'm not sure where the plug went. <laughs> I think it's I think it's over there, uh, but yeah. Oh, actually, duh, it's right here. So this is just, uh, I guess they call it SAE uh, standard plug. So that's gonna be on, the, on that side over there. Uh, this right here is a cover that's going to slide over this and cover all the stuff. All of this is going to be wrapped in fiberglass, but that cover is going to be removable um, just in case I need to get in here. But I wanted to make it strong because one of the goals with this whole project is that I want to be able to take a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood and slide it in here if I ever need to move move it when it's snowing or raining or something like that. Um, uh, I just, I did just order a, a Dometic fridge, which is gonna go right here. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I still have some, a lot of wires, a lot of connections to do. All of the 12 volt is done. So all of these are connected. Right now I have my battery tender here, just topping off this battery, keeping it charged. But this thing has 12 volts, I can actually turn it on. Right there, it says the voltage is 12.9, but actually it is 13.9. I'm not really sure why this thing always says that the voltage is so low. It's a very, very short run. It only goes from here to the battery and it's two four gauge cables that I have going from this through fuses uh, directly to the battery. But it is what it is. It, it's not a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, I don't anticipate using it for a whole lot. I just kind of wanted to have it as an option, uh, but we'll see how, how it goes. Uh, I like the opportunity or the option to have an AC in here maybe and I've heard air conditioners can operate off this. Um, yeah, so so we'll see. Uh, so all the 12 volt stuff is done. I even have the DC to DC harness wired. Uh, I bought harnesses of uh, Mouser, and I can't get it out right now one-handed, but uh, so these two go to 12 volt power. Uh, that's can right there in case I wanna monitor it for anything. But really, all I need to do at this point, and it is off, so there's no high power here. But, yeah, so all I would really need to do is send 12 volts to these two wires, and this would close the contactors for the main battery pack. So if those had 12 volts, then all of this would have high voltage, and it should work. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little hesitant to, to take that step, but I've, I've triple checked everything. Wiring all looks good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just haven't taken that step yet. So we have high voltage here coming in 
from these two right here. Uh, I have another contactor here that I'm not using for anything. I thought at some point maybe I would have uh, a, a Tesla cabin heater maybe off this one. I also have an, another junction box up in the front, which I'll show you. And I put an extra contactor in there as well in case I wanted to have some other device up there. Uh, another idea that I wanted to have was... Uh, a hot plate back here because obviously I have a lot of power with the 85 kilowatt hour pack underneath all of this. Uh, I thought about having a hot plate that was operated off 400 volts, but I haven't been able to find exactly the right product yet. And uh, I'm not sure I'll do that. I mean, I've, I've got that. I could just plug it into 110. I want to do some testing and see what I like for, for cooking before I really commit to anything. Let me turn this off. And so I have these nice Decora switch plates that I got on Amazon. Uh, I have rocker switches. I, I really wanted this to look like home, re really be like a like home. So my wife is comfortable, so we're comfortable. I didn't really want it to feel like we were roughing it or anything. So we do actually even have dimmers here. So this is just the cabin lights back here. Uh, up front, inside, I have this light and or this that switch and this switch control each of these two dome lights, which I'll show you. Uh, I couldn't get them to work three wire, um, so each switch actually controls a different um, uh, different light. So I guess uh, that's. Pretty much it back here. Oh no, I got. I want to show you this. Uh, the Victron Energy. Uh, I forgot the model. Actually, it's right over this guy right here. Uh, a lot of RV people recommended this, and so I picked this up off Amazon. Uh, not especially cheap, but in the grand scheme of things, two hundred and nine dollars really wasn't so bad, and it's been great. It's got an awesome app. And it shows all these different features, and th these numbers aren't going to be quite accurate because I'm charging right now. But it does show the the current voltage. Yeah, 13 volts right now. But it will actually show you, based on current usage, so with having the lights on right now, how long your battery will will last and you can program it to there's a lot of reviews online i really won't get into it but you can program it just to say what size battery that you have in in your rv camper or whatever you're using and it'll tell you based on the capacity of your battery how long you can keep on doing what you're doing so i thought that was really cool and plus there's an app which is phenomenal like it really works great uh, so that's pretty cool. So as long as I'm within Bluetooth range, I can actually uh, connect to my phone or connect my phone to that and it'll show me uh, all the specs, all the stats on my phone. All right. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. So in here, I have my switches. Uh, I have three switches on, on this side, two on that side. And the first switch on both sides is going to be the outside light right here. So I do have, let's see if I can find it quickly. Uh, it, it's, it's in there. <laughs> I'm not going to, oh, right here. I don't want to waste too much time. But uh, I went with Chrome, and that's going to be the outside light here. It has really good light. I've tested it. works nicely. So the first switch here is going to control... This light, it's going to dim it as well. It's the same dimmer style switch as that I showed you in the rear. And I also have more of those LED strip lights that are going to be underneath the camper so I can illuminate the ground as well. And that's going to be on the same circuit. So flipping the switch here, uh, it's the first one you can reach as soon as you open the door. Uh, it's going to control the outside lights. It's going to be this one and the and that and dim it all. So it's going to be really nice. Uh, so this switch is going to control the right or this side here, and that one is going to control that side. 
This switch here, actually I forget, let me see. Yeah, so that switch there controls the light right up here. And again, it does also dim. And then this switch here controls the dome light here in the center. And it dims beautifully, it really works very well. Uh, and then this one here is a standard house switch. It's, it's an AC switch, but uh, it'll work. It does the same job. And this is going to be an extra switch for now, but I think it's going to be for a heater. And either I'm going to have the heater in the, in the back, like I showed you the, the contactor back there, or I'm going to connect it uh, up front here and got a whole lot of stuff going on up here as well. Uh, in here, I do have two, I've got a few contactors, <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what you're gonna do what yet, but I have extra ones up here just in case there's any of accessories or anything I wanna add. Um, so yeah, I could come off that. What else? Uh, obviously Tesla charger, it's not quite mounted yet, but it's, it's sitting there, it's in its spot where it's gonna be. Um, I have a buddy who helped me with a controller on the first uh, T-Rex that he's building uh, Damien board for this one. Uh, Damien McGuire, if you don't know, uh, definitely look him up. Uh, really smart guy, and he has made uh, uh, like an open source board where you can use these Gen 2 chargers for just DIY projects. So he's helped me with that. I already ordered, or I have all of the plugs from Mouser, so I will be able to connect this charger and charge this T-Rex independently of the car or both at the same time if they are connected in parallel. Uh, these are cooling lines that I've started. Um, so my tank is here. Uh, I'm working on the pumps. I'm gonna have dual pumps in this one. Uh, the tank is probably gonna get mounted right about here. I have a fuse box up here and in rear, so no matter what I need to connect, where I need to connect, I have power. And those are four gauge cables going to the battery. What else? I got a bunch of wires up here that I ran through the channel straight down there. So I've got all my cables that I needed ran already. What else can I cover? What else do you guys want to know about? Uh, I have the radiator. It's actually inside my house right now, but the radiator came in this box. It's just a, a standard Honda, or no, it was a Escort. It was a Ford Escort brand new radiator found on Craigslist. It lo uh, looks great. It's actually going to fit right here in this lower corner. Uh, so that's going to help with cooling for both the battery pack and the charger. Here is my... Here are my two plugs. I do have, yeah, I didn't show you the outside, but I do have another one of these that I've made for those two plugs. It's over by my fireplace. It's, it's drying right now. I had, I just uh, wrapped that in fiberglass and resin. Uh, this one I already installed, so I just wiped resin on there because you really want all the stuff to be waterproof and it's, not so much for strength as much because it's just wood. It, it's going to hold up. It's, it's pretty strong. But, yeah, I just wanted to have some resin on there to keep it uh, all waterproof. Uh, all right. Oh, yeah. And so all my wiring. So all the exterior wi wiring is ran. So this is all the uh, side lights, the side marker lights, uh, the side exterior light. And what I decided to do with all of this is because it's a foamy, because it's a foam trailer, uh, it really makes things difficult to run wires in. So I took my, uh, it's not handy, but I, I took my uh, soldering iron. I have a really nice, I think Weber or something, just a really nice soldering iron that gets really hot. And I burned this, uh, burned like little trails all over the place to run wires in. And it worked great, worked really, really well. And so what I'm gonna do is just coil these things up and I'll tape this, of course, uh, coil it up and stuff it in there, put tape over top of it. 
And then when I go to wrap the whole thing in fiberglass, uh, I took notes for myself that I know exactly where this circle is. And then I'll just carefully go in there with a razor or something and, and cut this out. And then I can mount the light to the fiberglass. So that's the plan. Uh, and then here in this area, the switches were just slightly thicker than the foam and the wood. So they stuck out just a little bit. And so I just wrapped, I just put tape over top of that. And I'm hoping it doesn't leave too much of a hump or at least hopefully nothing too noticeable with the uh, with the surround once I get it done. Uh, I decided to go with four lights on each side because I really want it to be visible. Um, these two lights here are just going to be driving lights. So they're just going to be on when the, when the headlights are on and they're not going to blink. Uh, the ones back here... So I have these, and then uh, it's hard to tell, but there's another one right down there. Those are going to be, so these are red, the front ones are amber. Uh, these ones are actually going to blink. It's not required by DOT or anything, but I just wanted to make sure. I, I'm an excellent driver, of course, but if I, if I somehow miss somebody and I don't see somebody next to me, because this sucker is going to be long, it's going to be like 12 feet long, uh, if I somehow I miss somebody, or I don't see anybody, I want them to see these side lights blink. Uh, so these are going to blink and show brakes and have the driver uh, driving lights. Uh, it's, it's definitely not required. It's a little overkill, but I really want to try to be as safe as possible. Uh, what else? Everything else has been going pretty good. I... Yeah, so I just ordered the fridge, so I can't do any of the cabinets or anything in there quite yet until I want to get the fridge here, put the fridge in place, and just, I've seen measurements and specs online, but I just want to see how much room, vertical room I have in there before I put my countertop or anything for the kitchen back there. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it. That's... Is that all I've been working on? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I got nothing else to cover right now. Uh, I know uh, one of you guys was asking about the, the Chatamo. The plug is in there. It's not wired up yet, so it's kind of anticlimactic for you, but it's, it's going to be there in place. Uh, we haven't tackled that job yet, but it definitely will be working. Uh, that's the plan. And yeah, then I still have a lot to do with all of the heating and cooling of the batteries. So it's just, there is a ton more work to do and it's kind of crazy, but keep at it. Every day I'm out here working a little bit here and there, uh, but hopefully you guys like the update video. Sorry it's so boring, but there it is. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye.